So the action potential is going to depolarize the atria, like so. It's going to generate the action potential in the SA, SA node, and then this depolarization is going to be spread to both the atria through the conduction system, like so. And once the depolarization happens, the atria will contract. It will move inwards, and the atria will contract. Now, the next stop for this depolarization process is the AV node. Okay, now where exactly is the AV node? If you do a cross section of the heart, you will see that the AV node is here. What am I drawing? Try to guess. Okay, so this is the tricuspid valve, the tricuspid valve, and this is the bicuspid valve. Okay, the AV node is right here between the atria and the ventricle and between the two um, valves right right in the middle between the atria and the ventricle and the bicuspid and the tricuspid valve so the next stop is the AV node and something happens here okay once the depolarization reaches the AV node there is a time lag between um, between the the reaching of the depolarization to the AV node to the AV node passing on through the conduction system. And we definitely know why the time lag there is. The time lag is allowing for the atria to, to contract and um, so that the blood can be pushed to the ventricles. Now, what I always wondered before was this time lag, does AV node has a brain? Does it know that it needs a time lag and that's why the time lag is there? How does the time lag come about? Who is responsible for saying, hey, wait a minute, let the blood go to the ventricles and then we're going to de get depolarized and then we're going to get contract and then we're going to contract. Who determines the time lag or why this time lag or this refractory period comes into play? Now, this time lag is due to the unique nature of the pacemaker cells of the AV node. Now, I told you before that the, that the pacemaker cells are both ACE and AV node, which means that both the pacemaker cells can generate an action potential. So why is it always the ACE node? Why is it not the AV node? Why does not AV node come up with its own depolarization? And the reason because even though both ACE node and the AV node can generate an action potential, the capacity or the ability of the AV node to generate an action potential is a little less than the SA node. Okay, SA node fires a lot more quickly. AV node can fire, but a lot less quickly or a lot less frequently than the SA node can. So going back, we know that the SA node genera generates a depolarization. The depolarization re reaches the AV node. So before AV node can generate anything, the depolarization has reached the AV node, and the AV node gets depolarized. As soon as it gets depolarized, we're going to talk about how nerves work. When a cell gets depolarized, there is a little bit of time lag before it can get depolarized again. Right? Because it has to come go through the refractory period. So once this depolarization hits the AV node, the AV node cannot depolarize again. It needs a refractory period before it can depolarize. And that is what's responsible for the time lag, which is allowing the depolarization to pass a little slower to the AV node than, um, than expected. In addition to this, what I want to add is that because AC node depolarizes first, AV node rarely gets a chance to depolarize. So AC node depolarizes, sends to the AV node, AV node becomes depolarized, goes through the refractory period. Once the refractory period is done, uh, the time lag is over, AV node that conducts the, uh, conducts the depolarization to the conduction system, and that's where the Perkin G fibers comes into play, which is around here. The Perkin G fibers travel through the septum and onto the ventricles like so, and the depolarization spreads all the way to the ventricles, to both the ventricles, and once depolarization spreads, the ventricles contract. Okay, so that's a general overview of the electric electrical activity of the heart. I'm going to be discussing more in terms of how it's uh, how it's important in terms of EKG in the next video.